showing you about the display and the sound, how to display text and displaying sound as well. Um, so as you can see, I will drag these here and they all do slightly different things to each other. This command block um, is when you want to express something with the EV3 robot, a big smile, sad smile. This is just trying to convey human emotions. Uh, these are eyes to indicate the emotion specifically, but it can do more specific stuff. For example, information, accepting, uh, backward, decline, forward. Uh, these are something you can use for other machines in the EV3 Mindstorm family. And then these are all the Lego icons. So this will show a color sensor icon. This will show the large motor icon, the sound icon sensor. And these are just other objects. So it can be quite specific. And it also comes with the amount of time. So say for example, I'll add this to here and I want to convey a question mark and how long will this question mark go for and we can be specific you can say seven seconds um, if however you want it to remain indefinite you can either add it to a really ridiculous amount of time or you can simply just have it like this and have it like that uh, if you want there's also uh, on control these will they, these allow you to have an additional element of control so I can have this emotion and I can tell it to wait for 30 seconds and then I can say stop and exit program and I will say stop and exit this stack that would mean that it will stop showing this emotion uh, on this display and then I can continue if I want to uh, beginning something else to add to this you can there's also other blocks say for example you want to display text this block uh, helps you for text say for example I want to say hello and it says hello but uh, we also can try to determine for how long um, let's just say let's get the control and we will wait for here and it will wait for five seconds uh, if we want to be more specific like how big we want the text to be we can simply replace it with this and I'll say hello again or goodbye and the font could be a large white font and it could be about the size of 4 which is what the EV3 uses um, that is how you use the display if however you want to also indicate something else there is the set status light to green red orange green uh, let's just say we'll have a green pulse and we will wait five seconds after five seconds uh, we will want to clear display which means that when I click this it'll, there'll be a green pulse glowing and they'll do that for five seconds. After five seconds, it will clear the display. Now onto the sound. The first block tells us that we can play a sound and it gives us many options to choose from. Animal sounds, colors, uh, communication, showing bravo or goodbye, uh, expressions, for example, a kung fu sound or a smack sound. Uh, mechanical and the rest is for you to explore so I will go with um, saying hello 
this block specifically tells us that we can continue to say hello, hello until done. Um, which is, if you want to do that, you can go for it. Uh, this block, however, just tells us we can do it once, just start sound. Say, for example, I will go with um, a blip. And <clears throat> the next block does something similar. It just plays a beep. And this is the sort of different amounts of sounds if you want to explore with. Hit or that. And you can play that for depending on how long. Let's just say we'll play for 0 0.5 seconds. And we can stop the sound after that and we can also set the volume uh, to 45 percent and that is how you use sound okay this is one i just did covering everything we just went past starting from here uh the beginning play button over here i decided to add a sound block a stop sound block from here to start sound I decided to go with the mechanical backing alert because uh, I want the motor to go back. Uh, what better to go with it than a display, which also indicates that it will go backwards and it will wait for two seconds, giving the EV3 and the people around it enough time to show that it's going backwards. I then decided to go with um, movement to show that it's going backwards for three rotations. Uh, obviously, I could change that depending on what I want. Uh, after that, I want it to go right, so I decided to first go with the sound going right, and it will move at a 30, sorry, 90 degree angle at a 50% speed. The start sound will say speed up, and it will move forward after that for two seconds. I've added the movement speed 100%. The start sound will say speed down, after which the set movement speed will be at 25% and it will move for two seconds. Once that's done, I wanted it to finish, so I added a display, which is which says done, which I, I changed with the text, and it will play a beeping noise for 0 0.2 seconds, showing that it's finished. So this is just one way of combining everything just from the movement, display, and sound. Motors over here are specific to whatever you're running uh, on the ports A, B, C, D. Uh, I use some events. No, I use some control just to have weight. We will reach the repeat on the next lesson. And these are just specific sensors that we will reach in the future.